Oh gosh. My goodness. Guys, a giant white fish. What's up everybody, Joey here. Yes, once again, we are on Lake Simcoe and we are chasing white fish. Yes, white fish. I came across a crazy bite the other day and I just had to come out one last time for these fish. Next week, we're switching gears. We're going for lake trout. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss this trick because I guarantee you this year, if you do this trick, you'll put a lot more fish on the ice. So let's get right to it. Fish are on the screen. Time to catch them up. I just got smacked like crazy hard. I'm pretty sure it's just. What the heck? That absolutely crushed me. Oh, here we go again. Got him this time. Got him this time, though. No. Wow, that one ate that top hook this time. I felt that one. Giant whitey. Oh my god, this is a giant white fish. <laughs> This is so sick. The first one came, absolutely clobbered that bait, left it down there, and sure enough, it came right back. Wow, that is freaking awesome. Ah, that is a giant. Bam! Look at that. That is a beast. Oh, that one's got some loins on him. That one's got some loins. Look at this guy. Look at that. He just... Damn, that was quick. Like one came up, boom, smoked it, left it down there. This guy came flying in for that top hook once again. And that is the juice right now is that top hook. I will tell you that right now. If you don't got a top hook on, you're not catching the numbers you want. And that right there is what you get. Oh, that was sweet. I'll show you the rig. All it is, is a drop shot. Yeah. Raven specimen, wide gap, red hook. Now, red you might say, be a wide red hook. Let me tell you, put a red hook on. You'll see for yourself. So you're basically tying a drop shot. See that? Just a nice little drop shot, small little red hook. Stop focusing on my face, I know I'm beautiful, but see? To about I'd say that's close to a foot and a half two feet long leader long leader yes long leader do yourself a favor go to impact baits impact blah, blah, impact baits on Facebook and order yourself a few of these little mini shots because I'll tell ya I'll tell ya it's gone every single time. Let's get right back to it. Here he comes the top hook. Got him. Top hook again. Did you see that? I told you guys. You don't believe me? I don't know how clear, crystal clear that has to be. <laughs> top hook. Again, on the impact mini shot. Absolutely insane. I don't know how clear you gotta be, but you saw that thing come up and just smoke it. Battery's just about to die too. All right, boom. Beautiful fish. We're gonna get this thing back in the hole. Oh goodness. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, easy, easy. Take it easy, man. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Awesome. That is sweet. I don't know how picture perfect you gotta see that lure 
just get clobbered on the pan optics like literally you can't mess it up guys get yourself some of these little things if you don't no problem i'll buy more of them but if you don't got these and they don't work for you, just message me in my DMs and I will buy them all off of you. I'll promise that. I'll promise you that. Little impact mini shots. And you know what? You can catch a lot of fish on just one of them. And they smoke it. I'll tell you that right now. My goodness. That is a giant whitefish. I just finished my chip and I just saw this thing racing like a freaking shark, man. Big whitey just choked that top hook, too. Wow. That is a big whitefish. That is a big whitefish. Holy smokes, look at that. Top hook right in the yap. Ate that hook, just ate it. That is a big white fish. Like, that thing is giant. Holy smokes. Look at that. It's literally eight inches wide, this fish. That is a big white fish, man. Yeah. Oh, look at him. He just choked up another goby. The goby swimming right there. Wow. A lot of gobies. That was crazy. I happen to glimpse on my screen and I see this thing coming in off the side like a freaking rocket ship. Boom, doesn't think twice. Absolutely close lines that bait. If it goes to show you anything, they're eating that tiny goby. Look at that, whoop. Look at this little fella. Real, real small. Really tiny goby. Check that out. Literally the same length, same size, same everything on these little mini shots. And that is exactly, exactly why they are eating that little top hook. Match the hatch, baby. Matching the hatch. We are catching whitefish and we smoking them. That's what I live for, baby. That's what I love. I love, I love when they do that. Ladies and gentlemen, who's this guy? <laughs> Look at that air cup. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> Ice, ice, baby. Damn. It's like every, oh, here we go, this one's coming in hot. He hit it. This guy's coming to the top hook. He's gonna smoke it. Got him, top hook again. Unreal. I don't know if that says it or what, but when you see a fish streak up like a damn freaking laker to the top hook, do you not use it? Once again on that impact mini shot. That's freaking sweet. I got him. Boom. The first one came to the bottom hook, and then uh, this guy just came in right behind it. Saw that top hook, I guess, from the distance. Just smoked that top hook. Beautiful whitey. I think this guy's a natural. He's got all his fins. Yeah. Nice fish. Not even a mark on him. We're gonna get this fish back in the water. See you. That was cool. 
damn it is something I tell you just to see them come up you know like you just know when they go up to that top hook it's it's over they eat it every time it, it's over every single time they eat that top hook and that red it's got to be red I don't know what it is the hook has to be red if you got a red hook on you're smashing Midday up It's insane how this this bite is. It, it it truly is. I mean, I come out here and I see three four on the screen at once, and I'm like, oh, this is gonna be a good day. This is gonna be a good day. And then uh, and then it just dies. Absolutely, just dies. Um, I'm in like 20 feet of water. You can see bottom clear, crystal clear. You know, at the end of the day, I just gotta capitalize on those early fish. I mean, I did land eight fish. I lost two. Still a decent day in my uh, in my books, but I mean, like, you have so much day left after 12 o'clock. You're just like, what to do, right? Um, I have a feeling I want to push up a little shallower because I did notice whatever fish came on my screen came from my right, which means they might be shallower, probably on those rocks, on those sand, who knows, um, limited visibility out deep, so they're running those shallow flats looking for those gobies because every goby or every fish that I caught was choking up live gobies, so they're definitely eating somewhere, and I think it's on those shallow rocks, so next time I'm out, I'm going to be hitting up those shallows. Um, other than that, let's see if we can pluck a couple more out midday, you know, and see where the day goes. Uh, there's nothing else really to uh, say about it. Let's get back to fishing, see if we can put some more on the ice. Holy smoke, I got him. On the high rock. So sick. Eating a chip again. I just catch another one. Look at him. He's got that high hook right in his mouth. So cool. We got another. Oh man. What just swam under me right now? Some gosh. Check it out, beautiful white fish. Smoked that top hook again, absolute clockwork. We're gonna get this thing back, because I saw. See ya, threw that fish back quick. That was pretty crazy. Eating a chip again, fish comes flying through, absolutely smokes me. I'm gonna put that there. See if I can get a laker right now. All right, let's get to it. Tackle, 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 tackle. Quickly wanted to run down what I got going right now. As you can see, kind of got a lot going on right now, but a lot of people have been asking what reel, what rod, what line, what do I do for my leaders? Well, I'm gonna just try to keep it short, sweet, maybe a little bit spicy for you. Reel, we are using a 2500 Shimano Stratic. Okay, a lot of people wonder why such a big reel. Well, this reel weighs practically nothing. So you can get away by using these larger set reels, have the line capacity because you never know when you'll run into a lake trout. Line, we got eight pound Power Pro braid, okay? Eight pound Power Pro braid to a, this one right here is actually a 10 pound Seaguar Tatsu leader. Uh, you can use any fluorocarbon leader. So I'm using Seaguar Tatsu leader. It is a fluorocarbon. It is basically this stuff right here. You'd see that. 10 pound. This stuff you can pull a truck with. I'll tell you that right now. If you use 6 pound, you can get away. 8 pound would be ideal. All we do, 10 pound leader to a Alberto knot. Yes, an Alberto knot. You can see that tiny, tiny little line to line knot right there. I don't know if it'll focus, but you can see it's the braid to the fluorocarbon. 
small 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 knot very tiny knot that will never break I mean I've caught some big fish on that knot and it is held the whole time what I do recommend though is after let's say your you know 20th fish give it a retie there's been so much strain on these lines that you know sometimes the braid does cut through it um, it's just a matter of it always pulling but if you do have a soft nimble rod like I'm using a 36 medium light ice custom rod you know that that light tip you can see like that tip is so light when I'm touching it like I'm barely even touching that tip and it just loads I got so much loading power to get into that backbone so no matter what I'm not really putting a lot of stress on that fluorocarbon so from that fluorocarbon leader what I do is I tie a polymer knot okay you can look that up on YouTube there's a ton of videos to a polymer knot and to that small little red basically trout fishing hook from that hook on we go about I'd say let's say I put that at the top about 34 inches this is a long leader okay we are not running a 12 inch top shot we are running a 30 inch top shot so you got the topper and then welcome a bottom bait you can run a meigs you could run a menace you could run a vibrato at the bottom it doesn't matter what your bottom bait is um, I've been catching them a lot on the drifter that has been my go-to lately so I've been using the drifter on the bottom but there is a lot of baits you could run on the bottom because ideally they're not eating it on the bottom I've caught so many fish today and only one out of the nine were caught on the bottom so you know I'm just basically using that bottom bait to call them in and once they do come in I drop it and I'm just basically dead sticking it with light little lifts and when they come in they smoke that top hook every single time and it's just a small little impact go impact bait mini shot so this is called Simcoe Candy there's Gobi I'm running Simcoe Candy Gobi those are my two go-to colors shoot them a message say you saw Joey's video they'll have the colors for you they'll set you up and trust me you won't be disappointed but that is my one rig um, that I've actually just only caught all my fish on I have not caught a fish on anything else these past couple days other than these rigs right here and it's just been a top shot with either a vibrato or a drifter but the drifter has been doing the most damage so far I mean look at it, it looks like a little gummy worm but also another tip glue your heads see that white stuff there throw some crazy glue and trust me it lasts a long time you cannot even pull that head off if you tried and believe me it, it helps in the long run especially when you're going through packs packs are expensive you don't want to go through that many packs you know just a simple dab of gorilla glue and you're laughing one bait will last you all day so that's about it we're gonna pack up here go home eat a nice meal we are hungry we are cold thanks for tuning in hope you're enjoying my videos make sure you like comment share and subscribe stay fishy and stay frosty